Hello, my name is Jeremy from Team Alive One. This is Wallach Street for Kids, Part 3, an adaptation of the book by Dr. Joel Wallach and Dr. Milan. Chapter 3, The Principles of Sales. Everybody, every one of us is in, in sales or involved with sales, whether it comes to something we've bought, purchased in the past, trying to get somebody to go to a movie, uh, eat somewhere, or husband and wife, eat somewhere we want to eat, do something we want to do, go somewhere. We're all in sales. We're involved in it every day whether we know it or not, whether we, we choose to think about it or not. Selling isn't telling people something. A true good salesman asks the right questions and listens, unlike this guy. He's ready to sell, but doesn't want to meet or get to know the customer. Here are some helpful tips that will help you in understanding and being a good salesman. If you don't talk to people, your percentage of sales will be zero. You must be honest, sincere, and have a good character. You must like what you're selling and have a good product, good seed here. Don't be a snake oil salesman. Don't sell things that aren't good for people and don't help people. You gotta love your product and love your company and love what you're doing. Here's something to think about. I am a salesman. I'm proud to be a salesman because more than any other man, I and others like me, built America. The man who builds a better mousetrap or a better anything would starve to death if he waited for people to beat a pathway to his door, regardless of how good or how needed the product or service might be, he has to be sold. Eli Whitney was laughed at when he showed his cotton gin. Edison had to install his electric light free of charge in an office building before anyone would even look at it. The first sewing machine was smashed to pieces by a Boston mob. People scoffed at the idea of railroads. They thought that traveling 30 miles an hour would stop the circulation of the blood. McCormick strived for 14 years to get people to use his reaper. Westinghouse was considered a fool for stating that he could stop a train with wind. Morse had to plead with, the, with Congress before they would even look at the telegraph. The public didn't go around demanding these things. They had to be sold. They needed thousands of salesmen, trailblazers, pioneers, people who could persuade with the same effectiveness as the inventor could invent. Salesmen took these inventions, sold the public on what these products could do, and taught customers how to use them. And then they taught businessmen how to make a profit from them. As a salesman, I've done more to make America what it is today than any other person you know. Without me, the wheels of industry would come to a grinding halt, and with that, jobs, marriages, politics, and freedom of thought would be a thing of the past. I am a salesman. I am proud and grateful that as such, I serve my family, my fellow man, and my country. Anonymous. This has been Chapter 3 of Wallach Street for Kids. Thank you very much. This is Jeremy from Team Alive 1.